Hi, this is Simon Obstel and welcome to this quick tip for Resolve Fusion. And this time I'm going to show you how to make the classic Netflix colored lines effect. So let's get going. OK, so here we are in the Fusion page of Resolve. And the first thing we need to do is add a background node. Let's have a look at it over here. So that's a black solid, but we're going to switch to gradient. I'm going to make both of these red. So make that one red and make this one red as well, like that. Then I'm going to click here and make this one uh, yellow. Click here, make this one green. Click here, make this one cyan to get that red. Click here, make this one blue, like so. And click here and make this one magenta. So now we've got a bit of a spread of these colors. Just even those out a little bit. Doesn't really matter too much. Uh, this is just for the purposes of demonstration. So then what we're going to do is we're going to add a fast noise. Let's look at our fast noise over here on the left. So what we're going to do is set the contrast up to five, the scale up to 100. Now what I want to do is come over to image tab here and I want to turn off auto resolution, which is forcing the resolution to the resolve timeline size. So you'll notice that if I try to change the resolution here, it just uh, doesn't allow me to. So if I turn off auto resolution, I can now change the height value to one pixel. And now we've just got a one pixel line of that. And then what we can do is we can add a resize node. And let's have a look at that. So that's stretching it back out again to the composition height. So this is cool. And we can now use this as the effect mask input to our gradient. So we've got that. And we can drop in a background node. This is black. We can pipe this over this. And now we can take that out into here and look at the result. And there are our lines. Now, obviously, we want them to move. So what we're do is come over to the fast noise, noise, and let's just adjust the seeth rate. Let's set that to 0.5. And now those lines will jiggle around like that. Jolly nice. Let's hide the other viewer like that. So the other thing I want to do just for fun is to come into this gradient. I'm going to turn on repeat and then I'm going to right click on the offset, add an expression, and I'm going to have time divided by 100. And that's going to just offset the gradient. And then we're going to get the color cycling through like that, which is quite nice. And that's because we've got that repeat turned on. So super simple and hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.